In this video, I'm going to show you how to have some hidden lights just, for example, behind this extrusion. Okay, so I have inserted this wall and then uh, using using model in place, I have created this extrusion in front of it. Okay, and if you wonder how I could create a closed loop like this, you need to go to component model in place and then I chose wall category, come here, and extrusion, pick a plane. I'm going to pick this. And then, because we cannot have a closed loop using um, this type of line, in this SP line, you need to click somewhere, finish it, and then use another line here. Okay, and then just hit check, and that's it. Okay, now let's get back to where we were. Okay, now in order to create lights, you need to create a light family. So go to File, New, Family, and from here, so it's the path is uh, program data, Autodesk, Revit 2020, family templates, and Engli English Imperial. Okay, so come here and select lighting fixture, this one. Now, you cannot place this in your model because Actually, you can, but you won't be able to see that. Okay, so in order to be able to see this source of light in our um, project, we would need to actually create an extrusion here. So come here and in the middle, you can create an extrusion. Just something small. Okay. And then hit check, check your extrusion in other views to see if, uh, if the location is correct. Okay, go to back, for example. You see it's not in the right place. So I'm gonna grab these grips and move them. So bring it to the center. Okay. Left. Okay. It's right. Now you need to load it into your project. So you can either place it here or in the uh, elevation view. So I'm going to place it, let's place it here. So it's not showing up here. Let's see what's the problem. Let's get back to this. And Change this. Okay, I forgot to move this extrusion. Okay, now you are able to see them. Okay, now let's go to the south view 
and you can change it to wireframe okay so you can see behind this wall or extrusion and now I'm gonna move it okay so as you see it only can be moved in two directions so you need to uncheck this constraint option okay and then start placing them here Then you need to make multiple copies just around this shape. Okay, so I'm going to pick that multiple copy. Okay, and then I'm going to place some copies. Okay, so just place them like this around the edge with an offset, okay? And then now I'm going to go to 3D view. Actually, I need to create some walls around it, okay? And a ceiling. Okay. Okay. And now I'm going to place um, for that. We need to have a floor. Create a camera view of this for example, from here. Okay. Now I'm going to go to create a render. Okay. So here, uh, this is important. Okay. So for now, I'm going to set this to artificial only because I don't have any window or anything and then go to artificial lights and you see that you see all the lights that I've created are listed here this family family these are the lights I have created so I'm going to create a group hidden lights and then I'm going to select these families um select the first one hold the shift and select the last one and then move them to group okay hidden lights okay now this is my group okay so if i change the value for this dim option here it will change for uh, all of them okay so i'm going to change this to 1.5 three or four for example okay and hit OK um, and then I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go and render in cloud okay I'm going to go with the standard right now. Okay, so here are the renders I, cr I created. This is the first one and uh, this surface is showing black because I didn't have any other lights in this space. So I've um, inserted some other lightings and then uh, this is the other render and as you as you see the lights are kind of so they're not shiny <clears throat> I increase the dim value and it's better and again 
I have played with it more and it's much better. Okay, so you need to play with the dim value or things like that in, in the space and make them to look better. Okay, and you can do the same um, with the lights in your ceiling. So for that, you need to go to your ceiling plan and insert those lightings.